Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Shauna and today I'm going to be unboxing Beautiful Feet Books History of Science curriculum for grades four through seven. If you saw my uh, how the year is going video, I'll link it up here at the end, you know that we are switching science curriculums after like <laughs> the first day. But you guys, I feel like curriculum is like when you find your spouse, like you find like the you know the one who God made for you and you just know it's the right choice I feel the same way with curriculum you know when you do something you just know whether it's right or wrong and it was a great curriculum but it wasn't for us and so I do have a fourth grader and a kindergartner that I'm going to be using this curriculum for this curriculum is slotted like I said for fourth to seventh grade However, if you're not familiar with Beautiful Feet books, they are a teaching through literature curriculum. And my daughter has done really, really well. My younger child, my kindergartner, has done really well with their other curriculums that we've used. So I'm kind of taking a little bit of a gamble here doing such a like higher slotted curriculum, but I think it's gonna be fine. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and walk you guys through everything that is inside and hopefully you can see if this curriculum will be a good fit for your family. All right, so as you can see, I already opened the box and tore off our address for obvious reasons. But this is the how the um, curriculum comes packaged. And I believe it comes with 13 books. This is a DVD, it says Your Story Hour, and it's Heritage of Our Country series, Alexander Graham Bell, part one and two. Pasteur's Fight Against Microbes. The next one is Marie Curie's Search for Radium. Isaac Newton, The Scientist Who Changed Everything. Ordinary Genesis, the story of Albert Einstein. It looks like I have a delayed arrival, so I'll be getting the Wright brothers, how they invented the airplane. And it says that this is for lesson 67, so I have time to get it, but it doesn't look like it says when it's going to um, be arriving to Beautiful Feet Books when they send it out, so I'll have to keep that set aside. Uh, along Came Galileo, The Story of Thomas and Alva Edison, Ben Franklin of Old Philadelphia, Archimedes and the Door of Science. This is the Teacher's Guide. Leonardo da Vinci. The Way Science Works, Discover the Secrets of Science with Exciting Accessible Experiments. George Washington Carver. The Picture History of the Great Inventors. This looked really cool from their website. It says that it goes over all of the inventors and what they invented. So I think this will be a really fun book. And then they have a history of science timeline. And sorry guys, I'm not quite sure how to open this. So it looks like they have some papers. I'm guessing my kids will probably make their own timeline with each um, inventor and probably what they invented would be my best guess. And then here are the inventors. I'm not sure if that's like the actual uh, assignment. I'm just guessing from what we've seen in other Beautiful Feet books curriculum. So, oh yeah, that's exactly what it is. Instruction for assembly of timeline. So it looks like we'll probably cut it out and paste it along here to make one long timeline. So that'll be really fun. My kids love that kind of stuff. Now I'm going to um, just give you guys like a quick flip through of each of the books because I know sometimes it's nice to see inside. So I'm going to set that up. All right, so just a quick flip through of the teacher's guide. Now, if you guys are familiar with Beautiful Feet books, this teacher's guide does look a little different. So um, what I want to touch on is there's a basic introduction. 
and it talks about the experiments that you're going to be doing. So this um, is not just literature, but it does have, from their website, it says that they have dozens of experiments. So there are some uh, required resources that you're going to need. This says the bacteria growing kits and ind um, acid indicated Cater paper, lens for Galilean telescope, um, microscope and slide preparations, and then petri dishes. Now, one thing that I really love about Beautiful Feet books is they do tell you, like, you know, if it's just too much to do, you know, a project, a report, or an experiment, for instance, that this is just a guide. This is not your master. So don't let any of this. Um, you know, put you off from the curriculum. There's still a lot to learn. And if you don't have, you know, say a telescope, you can always go on YouTube and find a video for whatever it is that they're wanting you to look at, which is probably what we're going to have to do. Now, this does have 85 lessons. And it says that along with the dozens of experiments, it also has some lab reports that you will do throughout the curriculum. If you do two to three lessons per week, that ends up being a one year study. And uh, it covers ancient scientists all the way to the year 1990. So it covers a large portion of science and the type of science that they cover is biology, chemistry, and physics. So you get a lot out of this. Now, lesson one, it says, begin the picture history of great inventors. And then in this science portfolio you have set up, uh, write out Proverbs chapter 1 verse 2 through 7. So this is a Christian curriculum. I do want to mention that uh, Read and discuss the chapters 1 through 2 of Archimedes and then uh, there's some questions and then read pages 6 to 7 of the way science works So it is a decent amount of work, which is why it is more geared towards the 4 to 7th grade um I might have to alter some of that work for my kindergartner, but I don't think it's going to be, you know, too much of an issue. And you guys, you can always break this up too, to do a two year study with and just take it at a slower pace. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, another part that I saw that I wanted to just touch on, maybe we'll see it, um, is right here, or origins of the universe. So they will talk about the differences between creationism or creation science, the Big Bang Theory and evolution, and biologos or evolutionary creation. And it says, it gives you questions down below. So how do you believe the universe came into being? Where did you first learn about the beginnings of the world? Do you believe that science and faith can complement one another? Has the church conflicted with scientists in the past? And do you think your beliefs on the origins of life can shape how you view science? So it doesn't look like there's, um, you know, a hard set stance on any one of these. It just gives you basically what they are and then gives you conversations, uh, conversation starters to go with them. Now, I obviously haven't used this yet, so I don't know if there's a hard set stance, but from that like one section, it doesn't look like there is. So these are just some of the lessons. Now I'm going to jump into what some of the books look like from the inside. So here is the picture history of great inventors. And these are all of the inventors that they cover. Oh, that's lovely. I expect nothing less from Beautiful Feet books, you guys. Their book choices are always just absolutely beautiful. George Washington Carver. And I'm not going to do like a full page, like, you know, go through every single page of every single book. I just figured I'd show you guys a few pages from each book and hopefully that can help give you a good idea of what you're gonna learn with each one. And then a DK book. I didn't even notice that was DK when I first got it, you guys, oh my gosh. You guys know, if you've been around here for a while, how much I love DK. Look, you know you're gonna get some good learning in a DK book, you guys.
that is the end of the unboxing and flip throughs. It does look like I am going to have to alter some things for my kindergartner just so I'm not loading on the information and then she kind of like glosses over and checks out for the day. So this might end up being a two year study. It might end up being where, you know, I just pick and choose what I go over with her and then I go over all of it with my fourth grader. But I feel really good about this curriculum. Um, I love everything from Beautiful Feet Books, you guys. So I do think that this curriculum is gonna serve us well. If you would like to check out this set, I will link their website down below. It is an affiliate link. So if you guys do use it, um, um, the price does not change for you at all. It just helps support this channel so I can do these things, um, which I really appreciate when you all use those. Um, as far as price, the last time I checked, this set on their website is $164.99. Um, with that, I believe you get free shipping of anything over $100. Uh, they also have a Beautiful Feet Books parent group that if I remember to, I will link it down below in the description bar as well. Um, just so you can go in there and ask questions. They have a buy sell trade group that I will try to link below I'm gonna link a lot of things below you guys just check out the description bar But um, so if you know you can't afford the full upfront cost Maybe you can find it used from one of the other parents there and um, You know one of the things that I love about beautiful feet books too is you, you don't have to buy the whole pack, you know, because that can be a very heavy price, especially if you bought a cur science curriculum that didn't work out. <laughs> and then you go and buy another science curriculum. Before you know it, you have science curriculums coming out of your closet. Um, <laughs> that's neither here nor there, though, you guys. Uh, one of the things that I really, really, really love about them as a company is you can either buy the pack or you can buy everything individually. So you can always purchase the teacher's guide and then look for these books used, look and see if your library has them, uh, maybe some of your friends have them. So there are so many different ways to make their curriculum fit your budget and that, my friends, is one of like the best things about beautiful feet books besides their customer service they have wonderful customer service so um i will mention that in the flip through i did not include the book the wright brothers just because it's delayed so uh you know if you're like oh well there's a book missing that's why so um i hope that this helps you to figure out if this is something that you want to use for your science curriculum if you like this video don't forget to give me a big thumbs up hit that red subscribe button and i'll see you again later bye